So what's happening in the auto insurance space? What does this mean for the consumer? Yeah, I wrote an article about this a couple months ago, and I was looking at the inflation data, the granular form of that report. And one of the line items that just kept standing out was auto insurance. Despite, now we know that we were looking at new car prices and and surprise, surprise, used car prices for a long time were appreciating (laughs) And inflation, inflationary pressures on both of those categories have now come back down. That's good news on those fronts. But what is happening still is that insurance rates continue to rise. So it just caught my attention. And it turns out that the average insurance bill now, I think it was around $2,000 a year or something like that. It had increased, I think, over a two-year period. It's been a while since I looked at that article, but I think it was by 40%. Yeah. Auto insurance um, are going up. So this is, look, this is not captured in loan directly in loan performance data, but it is obviously an incremental expense that borrowers need to pay. And by the way, I'm focusing on, we're focusing on auto loan insurance or auto insurance premiums here. It's also true in the housing market as well, which is also taking up a lot of the headlines. There is momentum behind this increase in insurance premiums for autos because the insurance companies, what happened, and I was surprised to learn this, during the pandemic, a lot of people stopped driving. And then things, the limitations eased up, people started to travel again. And apparently people forgot how to drive. I say that only partly tongue in cheek, but accident rates went way up. And the other thing that's going on, if you want to look for a real poster child for super high insurance, auto insurance policies, Look no further than Tesla, because on top of everything else that I've just talked about, Tesla's got that vertical business model and try getting your Tesla repaired or your parts replaced if you, God forbid, get into an accident and so on. Their premiums already are higher than most other vehicle premiums, and they're also going in the same direction. 